Welcome back to the channel Super Academico and Blue Eye Patch. Let us keep the reading of my book Cluter's Mare Pop Beyond the Cloud. Available now on Amazon, click the link in the description to make your order. Today we will keep the reading of the chapter 2. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Let's go. Continuing Chapter 2 Werewolf in Paynham District 12. Later I went surfing on the web, researching about the book Hunger Games. I like to know more about a movie than the movie itself. My readers always deserved the best they could when searching for information about a movie. I discovered that the author Suzanne Collins had the idea of the story when she was watching live gladiator television shows. A harmless sport in modern times, but one that referred to a bloody dispute that took place in the ancient Roman Empire. Fiction appropriates history and future history ends up taking fiction as reference, especially science fiction and fantasy. The central character, Katniss, had very strong emotional appeal to girls around the world, for she was a cream fighter and always sacrificed for friends and family. Knowing a little more about the character already felt the desire to see the film and enjoy the struggles of this young woman so inspiring. As always the text that resulted in the blog quickly attracted the attention of my readers to want to watch the movie and also read the book. That night I went to sleep after this research and writing work with the strange conversation with Marcos earlier and the information about Hunger Games in my head. I remember well that night's dream. I was Katniss herself and I was in the woods hunting with my bow and arrow. Soon I began to hear footsteps in the foliage. It seemed like some animal surrounded me. I prepared the bow with an arrow to shoot, and I spun around looking for a menacing target where I could shoot. Suddenly a huge wolf of reddish fur appeared from behind a bush. Slowly he came toward me, even though I was pointing the arrow at him. He looked directly into my eyes and then I recognized who it was. I knew it was the werewolf Jacob from the movie New Moon. I thought to myself in my dream, What are you doing here in District 12, Jacob? He turned his head to the side and glanced at my right side. Carefully I turned in the direction pointed and there was Marcos, tied to a large tree, seemed to be bruised and scared. I began to walk toward him when a voice came up in my head, familiar and at the same time unfamiliar, saying, do not trust everything you see. I woke up scared at the sound of the alarm clock. It was time to wake up and live another day, but those puzzling words of the dream still resonated in my memory, beyond the strange context in which the character of one film appears in another and that I had not yet seen, just read about it. Note. Have you ever considered whether dreams were forms of communication with other worlds or other dimensions? Today I don't think about it anymore. I just live it. On Saturday afternoon Marcos and I met to watch the movie Hunger Games as we had planned. The pressure of the math test had passed, so we returned to more leisurely and less apprehensive conversations. We walked through the mall along with other people who were also from our school, some of these also couples. As we were the most recent couple there was some pressure on us regarding our actions as a couple. We were not much of a grabber and it was more of our profile the conversations and walks. Besides the movies and the study together. The movie session was packed. It was the debut weekend and although it was still a little-known franchise here, it had already attracted a good audience for the launch period. Note. That's what movie experts called fast movies. Promote the movie as much as possible to create curiosity and get as many people to watch the movie on the opening week. What comes next is profit. As it was a bestseller book-based movie the great public was almost guaranteed. There we were, hand in hand, inside the movie theater, eating popcorn and watching Katniss survive everything to preserve himself and his mate, Peta, a fighter in every way who sacrificed herself to prevent her younger sister from being the victim who would go to the arena of fights transmitted live to the mortal delight of a sick society that could not see that was manipulated by a corrupt and feudal system. In that moment, with an arrow piercing the apple in the mouth of the roast pig among the judges, as a demonstration of skill and readiness never seen before, she became the heroine of thousands of girls like me all over the world. I saw and felt in my hand that Marcos was also enjoying the movie. The scares followed by dozens of people in the movies were followed by small pressures of his hand on mine. It was interesting to feel the rhythm of the movie at the same time that I felt his hand. From time to time we would stare and laugh, but the movie dictated our moment. 
There for the last half hour of the movie, when Katniss finally kisses the dedicated Peta, Marco squeezes my hand harder. I thought he would kiss me again, as it is typical for the boys to use the romantic scene of the movie to enjoy one more kiss, but that is not what happened. I looked at him and realized that he was serious and pale, more than normal. He stared at the screen but he did not seem to be paying attention to the scene. I turned to look directly into his eyes in the light of the illuminated screen, and there seemed to be no life in his eyes. It was as if he could see through me. Frightened, she said. Marcos, what is it, Mare? He was suddenly back. He looked at me questioningly and returned to watch the movie. Nothing, I thought. But before I could say anything, the people around us asked for silence. I agreed that cinema was not a place for conversation, but I was really worried. We finished watching the session. We all made some comments and opinions about the film. It was clear that the boys focused more on the action of the film and the beauty of the actress Jennifer Lawrence, but the girls, especially me, noticed that what gave support to the film was the emotional aspect of the Katniss character. She was extremely strong and audacious but at the same time sensitive. The book already revealed this and in the film was very well represented by the actress, very talented by the way. In my blog I would definitely concentrate on this more feminine aspect of the adventure, as it would be the threat of many interventions and comments thereafter. In the food court of the mall we expanded our conversations into other branches. School, politics, gossip, but I was also focused on being with Marcos. Despite interacting happily with everyone, he still seemed worried with something. His strange absence during the film made me intrigued. He assured me that everything was fine. But, it was nothing, Mare. I was just concentrating on the movie and so I got distracted. But Marcos, your eyes were empty. I looked directly at you in front of the screen and you did not see me. Just answered when I called you. How is this possible? I don't remember this. Yes, you were completely absent. And at the same time you held my hand very tightly. He smiled and tried to express sympathy or something similar. Maybe because he wanted to say it was because he really liked me, but this was a romantic pretense that did not reflect reality. Note. My generation has become notorious for harboring few illusions about love and the future, perhaps a consequence of the exaggerations of past generations. I have no friend or colleague, boy or girl, who does not find ridiculous movies like Titanic or other 90s junkies. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to subscribe to both channels and like and share the video. Bye.